Joe Biden claims that the police need to rein it in. Anytime a black person, Latino, person of color, color, as they say, gets shot or arrested, Joe Biden is very quick to say they did it wrong. He knows nothing about what happened. He has not seen all the camera angles. He does not know the full situation. But Joe Biden, he learned it from Barack Obama. He acted stupidly. That's not how I would have done it. I would have shot him in the leg. You know, you could just wing him. You could shoot him in the arm and then have a nice talking to. This is how they think the police need to act unless the police attack a political opponent. Watch Joe Biden say that you should, the police act stupid. They need to, there's other ways of dealing with this. But when it comes to January 6th, this was the only solution. They're not saying her name. They're not chanting. They're not saying, why did the police do this? They're not bringing them up for an investigation. There's no trial. If a white police officer did this to a person of color, the whole country would be on fire right now. Go. We can do this. You can ban chokeholds. You can, but, you, but the, beyond that, you have to teach people how to de-escalate circumstances. De-escalate. So instead of anybody coming at you, the first thing you do is shoot to kill, you shoot them in the leg. There's ways. Do you want to tell us who you are? Uh, my name is Michael Byrd. I'm a lieutenant for the United States Capitol Police. For months, he has lived in hiding, he says, over this moment. So instead of anybody coming at you, the first thing you do is shoot to kill, you shoot him in the leg. His decision to use deadly force against a rioter as she climbed through a barricaded door that leads to the House chamber. What are you hearing on your radio? I'm hearing about the breaches of different uh, barricaded areas, uh, officers being overrun officers being down. Did you ever hear a call or a report of shots fired during any of this? As a matter of fact, I did. There was reports of shots fired through the house main door onto the floor of the chamber. Later, those reports would prove to be false. We had our weapons drawn. There's a gun! There's a gun! Bird, only his hand and gun visible, targeted a figure trying to climb through a window. He fired a single fatal shot hitting Ashley Babbitt. She was 35 years old, an Air Force veteran, Trump supporter, and QAnon follower. We see your arm out there for a considerable amount of time. Were you wavering? I was taking a tactical stance. You're ultimately hoping that your commands will be complied with. And unfortunately, they were not. When you fired, what could you see? Where were you aiming? You're taught to aim for center mass. Uh, the subject was sideways, and I could not see her full motion of her hands or anything. Um, so I guess her movement, you know, caused the uh, discharge to, to fall where it did. And what did you think this individual was doing at that, at that moment? She was posing a threat to United States House of Representatives. But an attorney for Ashley Babbitt's family disputes that. He did not respond to our request for a comment, but in a previous statement said Babbitt was not brandishing a weapon, not in close proximity to members of Congress, and was not an imminent threat of death or serious injury to anyone. We can do this. You can ban chokeholds. You can, but, you, but the, beyond that, you have to teach people how to de-escalate circumstances. De-escalate. So instead of anybody coming at you, the first thing you do is shoot to kill, you shoot him in the leg. So we exposed the liar bird. Now, because he's black, he was able to just kind of sneak up to the side of the window and you can hear no verbal commands. Stop, I have the ability to shoot you. Don't make me do this, stand down. He's kind of sneaking up in the corner, being nice and quiet. Pow, got his freebie. Now he's talking about, well, the media, you know, I heard there were gunshots outside. Yeah, the media, CNN said that. It later turned out to be false because CNN was trying to get click, click, click. And because of that, he's hearing this, but he went and got his freebie in. Because look, he knew he could get away with this. Now, if a woman's crawling through a window, both of her hands are open. A cop doesn't have the right to just shoot. If a white cop shot a black person just for coming in a window, Washington, D.C. would be on fire still to this day. Seattle will be burning. Portland would have bomb threats every single day. The streets would be taken over. Uh, Los Angeles, every shoe store would be robbed. When you go to New York City, they would put Ashley's life mattered all over the walls and on the streets. Even Joe Biden, clarity. You don't have to kill everybody. There's ways to de-escalate. 
But when it comes to this one person who was crawling in a window, 130 pound woman, she needed to be killed right then and there because she was a political opponent to Joe Biden. Now, since Officer Byrd is black, he will get away with it. If you go on the street, man on the street, and you ask a hundred people that hate the police, name an unarmed white woman shot by police. None of them, out of a hundred, zero of them can say the name Ashley Babbitt. Let me know if you agree. 